Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're going to look at how you can scale objects perfectly in Illustrator. But I'm starting here in Photoshop. The reason for this is that I have some shapes in Photoshop that I can use in Illustrator. I've drawn the shape onto a shape layer in Photoshop. I've opened up the Pass palette, gone here to the Pass Selection tool, which allows me to select this path and choose Edit Copy. I'm going to switch across here to Illustrator and just choose Edit Paste. I'll choose Compound Shape so that this is fully editable and click OK. Holding the Shift key, just drag on the corner handles to enlarge the shape to pretty much the size of the artboard. Now you could start with any shape that you had drawn in Illustrator or you can copy shapes of course from Photoshop. Let's fill this shape with a gradient. I have some metallic gradients open here, so I have the fill targeted. Let's just click on a metallic gradient to apply it to the shape. What I want to do is to use this metallic gradient for just the outside of the shape, and I want a solid color inside. I want my solid color inside piece to be the perfect size. It needs to be just a few pixels smaller than the original shape. With the Selection tool, I'll select over the shape and then choose Object and Path and Offset Path. Offset Path allows me to specify whether I want my shape to be larger or smaller. In this case, I want it to be marginally smaller. I've typed in minus five pixels. That's a little bit smaller, given that my entire document size is merely 1,000 pixels by 1,000 pixels. You may need to make this larger or smaller as you wish. If I click Preview, we can see where this shape now appears. We've got a slightly smaller shape inside the larger shape. If the offset is too much or too little, I could vary this amount. And of course, if I want a larger shape than the original, then I would make my offset a positive value, not a negative value. The areas that I'm concerned about are these very thin areas. I don't want them to disappear, so I do want them to be still a shape. So five pixels is pretty good here. I'll click OK. If we go to the Layers palette, we can see what Illustrator has given us. It's actually given us two shapes, the original at the back and then this smaller version at the front. So the tool Object Path, Offset Path, gives you a second object and the second object is going to be either larger or smaller than the first, depending on whether you set the offset to be a positive or a negative value. So we now have this smaller shape. I want to fill it with a solid color and I want to sample my solid color from the shape itself. So I'll go to the eyedropper and shift click on the color I want to use as my solid color and just move away from my shape. I now have the original shape, which is the outside piece, and an inside piece, which is just slightly smaller, that has a solid fill in it. Anytime you want an exact copy of a shape that is just slightly smaller, the Offset Path tool is your tool of choice. I hope that you've learned something in this video that you didn't already know about Illustrator. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted when I release new videos. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel.